I just said I'd do a quick video on how to time up these Toyota engines and uh, quick steps you need to uh, just check over before you do it. So on these engines, the chains are going to have some color marks. If you look here, that's got a mark. That's got a mark there. And on the lower side, that's got a mark as well. So if you look at the crank, it's got to match up with that. But also if you look at this dot without the chain, it should be somewhere close to where this mark is here. So if you look along there, you get a clear indication. Come up to the top side, you see this line here. And then if you come to the back onto the cam cap here, you see that little arrow that I have in white? So I have a little arrow down there. And if you see at the back, there's another little dot. It's got to line up to those and the chain has got to sit on that dot as well. Over here, same thing. There's a little white arrow right there. Uh, I have white out on it. It's not usually white. Just there, as you can see, that lines up to the chain. <clears throat> so there's three different markings on this. You can see that there's a an intake an exhaust on this side and then you have the center mark so there's three marks and you line it with the center mark on this also the cam lobes this is the uh, intake that's going that this is the exhaust side and the cam lobes are facing out this way and lastly uh, I'm going to show you the tensioner um, side so this is the chain tensioner, the timing cover is on and I'm about to install this tensioner now. That is the little hook that hangs and keeps it compressed back. You install this, it only installs one way so you can't do it wrong. You install this, put on the two nuts and then you rotate the engine around until you hear this disengaging. This will press against that and that will release. So you'll hear this starting to ratchet and the clicking will happen until it goes out and sets the tension. I'm going to go about and do that now. I'm going to install this and then I'm going to rotate the engine and show you. Now I'm just getting ready to rotate the engine over. I'm filming in on the actual tensioner there and I'm hoping to keep it all in focus while I rotate this over. You see, it's disengaged from that now and it's gonna adjust out. So I keep rotating. So now that we have it rotated, we just check the marks. You see the arrow here. That's one mark on that. And this dot lines up with this arrow here, which is perfect. If we go to the front side here, there is a mark, which I showed earlier on the lower part, just there. And on the lower side, we have it marked up with zero down there. This is the manual with the information and the crankshaft pulley marks up with zero on these
So this is all now timed up. I just thought I'd make a quick video on how exactly you time it and how you set up that tensioner. If you're ever doing one of those, you now have the information that you need. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I hope to see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.